This is what happens when you say, Hey, is Tom Girardi your alter ego, bitch? Disgusting. What you do to people with your insurance lien scam. Your Tom Girardi best buddy is going to go to jail eventually. You won't be able to hide him forever, will you? I hope you enjoyed your fucking trip. I hope you enjoyed, oh you, oh, oh, get a special injury fucking lawyer. Go on, why don't you get a fucking lawyer? Get a fucking lawyer to file a lawsuit against yourself, you moron. You are Glory Allred has been head of the Girardi Syndicate and the State Bar scam for decades. That is a fact. And she has trafficked justice for decades. She needs to answer for her crimes to humanity. Judge Jolanda Orozco from Department 31. I finally recused myself after telling Mr. David that I was going to put him in jail, but I failed because I'm a bitch and I'm part of the syndicate, an evil fucking syndicate. Yeah, Jolanda, you made a bum decision and recused yourself at the same time all in one day. Why? Because I came to your fucking courthouse where you sit there, an unelected douchebag that you are, a criminal who should not be in those courthouses, causing unbelievable pain on people you need to be out bitch and you are on your second round of marching orders so you're getting the fuck out soon you come girardi since we graduated loyola we've scammed every insurance fucking company you can imagine even kill fucking phil k i had him murdered we killed fucking phil k in san francisco because he was getting too much business girardi's been knocking off lawyers who've been dissenting for a very long time if you're a lawyer and you've got something bad to say about my tommy girardi Hey, fuck Kamala, and all her beliefs, yeah. it's about to be a funeral with four years of grieving, uh -huh. we about to- Having posted that article a year ago, I got a visit from the secret fucking service, you know, like hardcore intimidation tactics. Well, here's a little bit of what went on. I started recording, in fact, Jeff started recording the moment they started getting weird with me. ...way of asking me that question, and then the continuation of your demeanor in the same way of discussing other issues mm -hmm. are completely unempathetic and leaves me no room to judge you other than to be hostile. Do you understand? Well, me? let me say this. If Do you, you understand? Me? I Do understand, you understand? But me? I would like to apologize. If okay. I have come into your house and offended you in any way, then I truly apologize but because I'm here to hear your side of the story. Is that, are you being sincere? I am being, I am, <laughs> I am not a liar. <laughs> So Tom Girardi's name was added to a search warrant to another private citizen. And I published an article saying smoking gun, Kamala Harris's office issues search warrant on one private citizen to another. And the fucking Secret Service thought that it, I was a threat. I'm the threat, Kamala, bitch. Sorry. Right. So fundamentally, my very cool companies that I spent over $200 million of my own money okay. that I inherited from my late father some 20 years ago, um, I developed and still maintain really cool companies, very advanced um, companies that employ people and do good things, right? And um, from the get-go, these motherfuckers wanted me dead. And who are these motherfuckers? It is the State Bar Syndicate. It is Mr. Gavin Newsom. Okay. Okay. It Why is does Mr. He want you dead? Well, he's killed four of my lawyers. Really? Or at least four of my lawyers have mysteriously died. Rebecca Rini, you can look up the name, Rebecca Rini, okay. R-I-N-I. Rebecca Rini, she was my FCC attorney. Uh -huh. She was a transgender lady. She was a guy okay. who became a thing. And back then in 218, it was still a little bit, you know, still a little bit new to people there. So it was, uh, it was interesting. For me, for me, I found it very, I found my relation. I, I don't think that they really cared. They were just there to intimidate. And it was really kind of, disheartening and frustrating that you were finally talking to the man and this is what turned up. Gloria, at some point, I'm gonna have to fuck you. That's right, Gloria. Uncle Sam would love to know where all of your offshore money is in Switzerland. And um, John Quirk did die just before he released that information to me, bitch. You like the Cook Islands, Gloria? You like the Cook Islands, do you? Fuck, wow, holy shit. Said it was my year, maybe it still is Picking up my phone Oh shit
This broke today in the LA Times about the FBI holding back because of Tom Girardi. The FBI, of course, is notoriously a democratic organ. And Tom Girardi being a money grabber, collector, criminal asshole for the FBI, of course, is protected. And this is all now coming out. Hey, Gloria, are you a little nervous, darling? Let's watch that little video again one more time. Tom Girardi. Boom. As soon as I mentioned that name, this is what happened to this little cunt. And right here, you have the business card of one agent, Quinn Lumpkin, who was the other lady sitting opposite me that wasn't in the shot. But she's partners with the other lady that was uh, interviewing me and trying to intimidate me. Well, these people are all connected to the same organization that is so corrupted, deeply corrupted in this city. The FBI being one of them, the Los Angeles, apparently head of the FBI and his mum were taking bribes from Tom fucking Girardi. Amen. Fuck you, Gloria. So basically, the FBI is now being outed in Los Angeles as being a really corrupt organization that works in partnership with criminals such as Tom Girardi, who extract money from a broken uh, civil civil judicial system that is very, very easy to hide and quote unquote is considered to be Mickey Mouse Court. Well, this Mickey Mouse Court is the Achilles heel to the American judiciary and Tom Girardi and co along with Gavin Newsom and others have profoundly corrupted this system.